Hi, so I'm just going to do this quick um, comparison between these two Y-Wing LEGO models. So you've got the um, Resistance Y-Wing 75249, that's um, from the, uh, the film that must not be named. Um, and this is the um, this is the um, the Y-Wing from 75172, that's also from a film that must not be named. But anyway, the, um, the Rebellion Y-Wing versus Resistance. Um, so they're both cool models but um, this one has an extra sort of hundred pieces and um, it doesn't really look like it from the size but you get like a a crane um, missile loader along with this with the with the um, with this one um, and it's just sort of a bit more like bulkier in terms of front um, whereas this front has got like a you know, a nice sort of shape to it this one here is just this like the bulky boat type of front um, both um, they're both sort of cool in their own way, but I prefer this like the sleeker front on this one. Um, I think they're probably sort of both based on the you know the actual film uh, models though, so you can't really complain about the differences. And I think they're both nice. Um, the detailing just on the on the back, um, I prefer to see the this sort of symmetrical middle missile loader, whereas this one's got one off to the off to the side. Um, and the detail on the on the resistance one, with the hooks and clips and bits, is actually sort of more, you know, like it's kind of cool. This one, um, or they've got lots of hooks and um, and joined um, joined parts in there. So they're both they're both good. I really like this little nub in here. And on the backs, um, you've got some different sort of paneling and um, steering. And the big, big difference on these, and the, and the real important one for me that makes this Rebellion one the mo much superior is the um, it's just the engines. Now, the way they hook on is much sturdier. These things have only got two clips on them, and then the the backs, the actual, um, the actual sort of whatever these are nacelles, they they are very sturdy on these. So. You've got the guide here to show exactly where to clip these on. They are clipped on to a bar, and that bar is slightly, but this here keeps them um, steady. And then on the end piece as well, this sort of piece is all blocks. There's no slide really. So these have got fixed positions. So even though this middle part here can slide up and down, it doesn't, and they sent, they hold their shape and they're pretty firm. Um, but with the, with the um, resistance one, your um, so they're longer, and I think part of them being longer without having any detail inside them is, is, is a probably tricky to, to get right. But the problem with them is that this here and this here are not locked in place. They both wobble. And the end part, while it is locked in place, is, is not good enough on its own to keep them sturdy. So it's very, very hard. And, and the end, this is quite wobbly to stop it from just being a droopy um, nacelle at the back there. Um, it's, it's long and and just these slightly, if these were locked with something that wasn't a, um, you know, because what happens here is there's, there's like a, see this, and it's clipped into the middle of one of those and then it just slides up and down and that's the same there and there. So it just doesn't, it's just very difficult to keep them in place. Um, Build wise, they're fairly similar. The um, the nacelle building is fairly tedious, but the rest of the designing is very nice. Um, and just a quick note on the minifigures, I haven't got them here. They both come with an astromech, and the astromech for the for the um, the rebellion one has a transparent um, head on it. It's like it's just just the coolest astromech. So um, yeah, that's the that's the review.